So what does it mean to have bias or what does bias mean? Come on guys, what does bias mean? Some let's go students. We just went over this yesterday. So Deborah saying bias is writing, which is slanted or slanted towards one opinion. Yes. Okay, anyone else want to add to Deborah's um, definition? Or if you agree with it, you could just give her a thumbs up. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, so they're giving a thumbs up. And guys, let me remind you, bias, there's most everybody every person is biased in some way yeah so okay every person is biased in some way bias only becomes a problem when it's communicated that's when it starts to become a problem when you start communicating your bias and when you start communicating your bias and attempt to convince people to um believe what you believe to to pick up your biases and carry them that's when mm -hmm. something can that's when we can we we approach something called propaganda. Yeah. All right. Where we try to manipulate people into believing what we want to believe, believe or what we believe. Okay, or what we want them to believe. And what I what I mean by saying there's nothing wrong with bias, like for example, I I went to government high school. And as a teacher, the last school I was at was Doris Johnson. And two teachers who went to um, CV Bethel, they um, ended up coming to Doris Johnson well after I was, well after I went there. And they had such pride in their school, right? Like they, they, they knew the song and I mean, whatever, I don't know the chant or whatever. And like they were, you to hear them talk about CV, they, they talked about CV the way people who went to SAC talk about SAC. Oh, wow, right? we know how that is. And so they had a lot of pride they had all the pride and, you know, they was, my sock is, I mean, um, CV was awesome, awesome, awesome. I said, well, you know, I mean, I, I didn't share that at all, that feeling about my school, but um, clearly on their end, there was bias. All right. And um, there are you in here who like seafood, who don't like seafood. There, there are those, those of us among us who like to wear Nautica or we prefer to wear Tommy or um, maybe um, we don't want to wear either of those. Maybe we prefer some other brand. Maybe we prefer certain cereals. Nothing is wrong with that. But bias, like I said, bias becomes a problem when you try to convince other people in shady ways or in in misleading ways to go along with you. That's that's a big problem. Okay, but an, and unfortunately we are hit with a lot of propaganda every single day, even though we may not realize it, especially in politics. If you watch American politics in particular, there's a lot of propaganda. There are a lot of arguments being made. There are a lot of, there's a lot of fact twisting, right? That happens and that's not cool, all right? Because the, in, in life, what is very important and what, what, is, what is often underrated and undervalued is the truth. What is the truth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, <clears throat> bias and propaganda. Okay, these are objectives. All right, um, students will be able to term, define the terms propaganda and bias. Um, students will be able to differentiate, differentiate between bias and propaganda. And uh, students will be able to create examples this should really be create slash identify examples of types of propaganda. All right. Okay. So, so we be Yes? No, I don't mean to cut you up, but so that means the commercials that come on came on during the election in the States was bias, which led um, to propaganda. 
they they can be. They are not necessarily biased, but they they can be, in the sense that um, <clears throat> the facts may be there. They may have the the statistics there, but is it just statistically based? Is it just fact based? Or are they also throwing emotions in there to make you feel some way about a candidate? Even yeah, though they, they, the they, they threw a lot of emotions in there. So, right. So, is it is it is it reliable? Is it the most reliable source of information if you have to resort to emotional appeals or euphemisms or um, things or fair? And a lot of a lot of the a lot of them, a lot of I don't want to say which which party, but a lot of um, one particular party's ads appeal to fair yeah right so anytime you see those things happening like that's you know like 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 for example your friend says i go to school every day you know what happens because when you miss a day of school you say hey that wasn't so bad i can miss more when you miss more days of school all right you may end up missing half the term all right you say well I Half the term, so I might as well wish miss the other half. Yeah. All right. Then you miss the other half of school. All right. And then basically say I might as well drop out because I'm not going to school. And then you can't starve to death. But does it necessarily mean that if you miss a day that the, the end result will be you starving to death? Like, is that uh, it isn't logical? I, I don't think that's a logical progression there. Mm -hmm. All right. That is that is definite propaganda. All right, someone is trying to scare you straight, scare you into coming to school. All right. All right, we talked about bias. All right, bias is writing slanted towards one opinion. And you can tell bias when you can tell whether a network is biased or people are biased when they focus on the positives of one thing while not talking about the negative aspects of it, or they don't focus on the positives of what they believe and they focus on the negatives of what they are against mm -hmm. and don't talk about the positives of it all right that is bias definitely and it's hard it, guys it is hard to be unbiased i'll be honest with you it is hard to be unbiased okay it is not easy to think like other people sometimes okay all right and um right so propaganda is a way of wording or structuring something so it appeals mostly to emotions and distorts the facts. All right. And I also said that propaganda is basically taking your bias from a place of thought and giving life to it. All right. You're putting it out to the universe and that could be problematic. All right. And I see people. Oh, listen, I don't, Mrs. Dennis Institute, I don't know if you've heard of like, there are a lot of um, people, there are a lot of anti-religious people now in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys are realizing that. Yes. And, and that is fine because everyone is entitled to their own belief. Students, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you ever seen on Facebook or any form of social media people talking about Jesus not existing, Jesus being a creation, um, Jesus being the name of a slave ship? Mm -hmm. Ever heard of that? Ever heard any of what I'm talking about? Let me see. I don't see nobody said anything. Um, so Tyronic, Alicia, those are saying yes. Okay. And um, a lot of people talk about Constantine creating Christianity and all of these things, right? And guess what? Um, they can say that, but a little research of your own, all right, will show that a lot of what these guys say is distorted. They are what is actually true mm -hmm. and they are making an emotional argument they may they may say well you are not listen if you believe in this white jesus you ain't woke you's a fool right they <laughs> they they are they're not using logical arguments no right they're using propaganda they are taking their bias and they are putting their giving their bias life and trying yes. to get their bias out there to convince other people to subscribe to what they subscribe to right okay so yeah but i've heard listen i have heard a lot guys and i mean it's fine i have no issue with people with differing views but 
if you 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 just have to make sense. Agree. Like, don't let me be able to do a simple search or pick up a book and and prove to you and see. Even when you do that, they'll say, "Well, the 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 people who wrote that man, you you reading the white man book, you expect me to believe what they write? But who who's your source, right? So it's like a losing battle. So sometimes you just have to walk away. All mm -hmm. right." It is used to promote a one-sided argument aimed at winning people over to a certain cause of belief. That's what propaganda is. Propaganda doesn't always have to make sense. It just has to sound like it makes sense. Yes. It just has to come. It just has to come across as believable. It doesn't even have to be one hundred percent true. Okay. Um, anyone remember some of the examples of propaganda we looked at yesterday? Okay, and remember that it is a way of wording or structuring something so it appeals to emotions and distorts the facts. Can anyone remember one of the types or all the types that we looked at yesterday? We looked at several. Anyone? Someone? So, um, Deborah's saying bandwagon. Yeah, bandwagon. Everybody likes bandwagon. I don't know if you guys yeah. have the <laughs> right everyone likes the bandwagon um to identify that one they bandwagoning on the bandwagon um uh um fallacy mm -hmm. yes deborah um testimonial yes jamie ad hominem yes yeah. deborah mm -hmm. and who said okay anyone else testimonial um name calling or ad hominem um euphemisms, euphemisms. yes uh all right and guys you know, but you know what I think, Mrs. Dennis and Mrs. Toot? I think that the reason why propaganda is so powerful is because um, you can, like, I, I, I remember this line from Men in Black. Students, have you ever seen Men in Black? Have you ever watched Men in Black, the first movie? First one. Thank you, Jamie. Yes, appeal to fair. Uh, guys, don't be afraid to participate, man. It's the same over and over again. All right, so in Men in Black, Agent K says to Agent J, because Agent J is like, why don't you just tell the world that there are actually aliens everywhere, right? Yes, I remember that part, yes. Right, and he says, Slick, let me tell you something. A person is smart, all right? People are dumb, panicky, right? And yes. what that means is you could more, you will have more success trying to like, reason logically with an individual than with a group of people. Yeah. All right? And that's why propaganda is so effective. Like, when you get, and there's another saying that says, never underestimate the stupidity of people in large groups. Mm -hmm. Because people stop thinking for themselves, and they look to each other, or they look that's to someone right. else. All right? And when you stop thinking, that's where the problem comes in. What happens? People stop thinking, they respond emotionally. Mm -hmm. When you get to respond emotionally, and you don't think at all, or you're not thinking enough, all kind of problems will occur. Yeah. Okay. So we talked about loaded words and free. Okay. Um, th these are particularly dangerous. Okay. Because when someone makes an emotional appeal, they could not be making any sense at all. But because they are appealing to your feelings, yeah. and, it's so, and, and our feelings are so powerful, can be so powerful, and override our thinking, our logic. Because it's very easy. I don't know if you guys remember where I had that slide with the brain versus the heart. You know how many times men and women do stupid things for people they love? Mm -hmm. They're not thinking they know what I'm about to do. Listen, I can't leave my good job to go run behind this man or run behind this woman. Listen, I cannot sell my car to buy this, to buy this, this, these red bottoms and this purse she wants because then I will have to walk. Mm -hmm. And how I carry her around, right? But guess what? This is what she wants. So I have to give it to her, right? They're not thinking anymore, right? Not thinking. So emotional appeal is dangerous. It's, it can yeah. be a good thing. It can be a good thing, but it can be very dangerous, very misleading, okay? Um, remember, we talked about buzzwords like hope, okay? Yes, we on or, or slogans like, yes, we can. They both appeal to your emotion. Okay, and they are loaded words because it's just a again emotion or meaning behind what the word says. All right, for example, the word free 
If I said to you guys, hey, I have free phone cards. What do you think I mean? Free phone cards for all of you. What? <laughs> right? What does that mean to you? What catches your attention? What's the first thing that catches your attention? I have free phone cards for all of you. Put it in the chat. Exactly. Free, free, that's right. Anyone with a brain who understands English, the free will jump at them, jump out at them first. Mm -hmm. But I then say, okay, I have free phone cards for everyone if they get a like if they get a hundred for the term. Yep. Ooh, wait a minute. That changes <laughs> things. So is it really free? Is no, it still really not. free? Is it free for everybody? No, it's not free for everybody. It's not even really free for the ones who may be able to earn it because they still have to get that 100%. I'm not just giving them the, the, the card for just existing, mm -hmm. right? Alicia says, keep it. I don't blame you. Okay? But even so, Mr. Walkie, and sorry for intruding, but also when we even looked at, um, you know who did that a lot? Um, oh, Lord. What the airline name in the States? Um, uh, Delta? Start with S. Oh, Spirit? Spirit. Spirit Airline did that a lot because they would say, um, they would say, you only, um, the tickets are $49, $49. They're making it seem as though you can go anywhere with this $49 ticket. But <coughs> they say only $49. But when you find, okay, it have to be a specific date specific location and then they turn around and tell you oh there's about almost two hundred dollars of taxes added to it so it's you're the, still paying the same amount of a regular ticket it's the same thing i don't know if you guys remember the thing with the car where oprah gave car oprah gave cars away yes same and, exact thing yeah right it was the same thing like the cars were free but the people had to pay taxes, like heavy taxes on the cars, even yeah. though they, they were they were free, quote unquote. So That's yeah, why a lot of them didn't get it. Yeah, very misleading, very misleading. Okay, so we looked at name calling, guys. This is a powerful one. This is a powerful one. In my twelfth grade class last year, I used to hear this all the time. And one person makes a point, and the other person can't counter that point. Boy, shut your stupid self up, boy. That's why you look like that now, boy. Right? They're not, but, like, if the person was making sense, you don't like the fact that the person is making, person is making sense. You don't want to think deep, more deeply. You don't want to agree. Sure, you make sense. You want to call the person stupid or attack their <laughs> appearance. Okay? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I can't, Aaliyah, I can't, I really can't take it. Like, we can have a conversation, but when you start insulting me personally because I am saying something to you and you, like Mrs. Dennis, Mrs. Toot, mm -hmm. I remember I was trying to explain to a guy on a forum many years ago mm -hmm. why the, about the national average and what a D actually represents. And you know, this is me as a teacher with several years. Oh, Lord. And you know, despite everything I typed, and I was very polite with him, everything I typed, or D stands for dumb. And if you think, and if you think any, if you think different, then you stupid too. You stupid, bro. You said dummy. What? They should come tear your head off for talking. Or let, I'm telling you, you know, just like that. Right? Wow. So he he doesn't address what my argument, you know, because I'm laying out for him, like, listen, we have a seven-point scale. It goes from eight mm -hmm. to, to eight. To, um, eight to you. And he is not open, he is not open to an alternative viewpoint, so what does he, and he can't, he cannot contest what I have said, because, and he doesn't want to contest what I have said, because yeah. it goes against what he believes, but he can't, he, he doesn't know how to, like, how to, like, attack it, yeah. right, dismantle it, so he resorts to name calling, he resorts to saying that I am stupid, and what I am saying is stupid without saying, okay, um, I understand your point, but we should still strive for, you know, mm -hmm. for, for more. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's just how it is sometimes, okay? Yeah. You're talking, rather than um, attacking the, the issue, addressing the issue, attack the person, okay? Um, 
in politics, this happens a lot, guys. A lot. Okay? When we look at these examples here, all right, you should remember those. That can't be true because you're an idiot. And because of that, I'm raising the minimum wage in our state. She's for raising minimum wage, but she isn't even smart on a business. That's probably a lie because how does he know that? Right? We talked about that yesterday. That's like me telling Mrs. Stute that she can run a business. Sorry, bad example because Mrs. Stute, Mrs. Stute has a business. All right? But um, this is very, 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 a very uncivil disgusting way to conduct yourself if you're having a discussion or a debate with somebody's students this type of propaganda to me is the worst all right um i hate it so please refrain from resorting like if you can't if you can't argue against what someone is saying if you cannot out argue them using logic and facts and common sense don't resort to calling them names i agree okay please don't all right because ultimately you are the person who looks weaker you are the person who who looks like the who is emotionally immature mm -hmm. okay i mean that's how i see it all right and um another example of this could be um i'm trying to make it a, a bit more applicable right uh like you imagine imagine you applying imagine you like on the phone um and you're trying to um get your, your your own cleaning company started right and you're you're, ha you're trying to um get this contract for your cleaning company and your brother comes into the room all right and says cleaning company she never used to clean she never used to like clean and when we were small right like <laughs> come on now come on really you, you're gonna attack me all right you're not you're not trying to you're not trying to address the fact that like i'm trying to get a business started you're gonna attack me personally and try and make it you're trying to make it like hard for me you know i'm on this phone trying to get this thing going all right so yeah all right keep keep on going um we also talked about euphemisms can anyone think of some um euphemisms of their own all right someone give me a euphem a euphemism for someone who is fat rather than saying fat or rather than saying ugly how could we what are some words we could use to euphemize um those express those terms because a euphemism is uh, um using words or phrases make harsh or bad things not sound so bad okay out of shape out i of like shape. that one thick. thick yeah, thick yeah i like that i like that word out of shape <laughs> In a, in a, no, remember, it has to be in a good way, Aaliyah, because euphemisms have to do with making bad things sound good. Mm -hmm. All right? Or putting a positive spin on a, a word, or, or, or using a word that has a more positive connotation. All right? Overweight. Okay, what about if someone is ugly? Give me a, give me another word or words that could be a euphemized um, ugly. All right? So they say obesity, Alicia saying. Shape good. I didn't say the, the lie. I didn't say the lie, DeAndre. <laughs> okay. All right, Richmond. Richmond Rich said the pass. What? A strong four? I what? swear. What? <laughs> Not the strong four. My All right. What? Okay, Tyronique says unattractive. Okay. Thank you. Alicia, God coming, Jesus coming soon. You can't be lying out like that's I didn't say the lie. All right, mm -hmm. weird looking. Okay. Perfect just the way you are, Franklin. You sound like you're Franklin. How many, how many people, how many girls have you told us to? You sound like Thank a you. <laughs> you, you, you bigging all the girls head up, man. Wow. Smooth. I oh, tell you. He's just saying average. Average. Alicia. Okay. Say so CM. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, all I right made it. oh lord okay so yes average she's average looking oh wait how about this one she's such a nice person yes oh, he's so nice <laughs> like i listen i love him so much because he is so nice to people okay oh so, yeah i mean uh, you know, like someone say someone say girl alia listen man i have this guy he, he saw a picture of you on my on my status and 
he he's so into you, man. He likes you, and he's like, okay, okay, okay. Um, well, how uh, how we look? How we looking? Girly, girly is the sweetest thing. Like he. <laughs> my, he Franklin's a pretty on the inside, Mr. Wagi. <laughs> Frank, Franklin has all kind of um Franklin has them all. Franklin, man, you got you have all the lines. You have all the lines. All yeah. right. Okay, so that's a good job, guys. Excellent for those who you guys clearly get euphemisms. You clearly get mm -hmm. it. Okay, but notice how euphemisms can be misleading, though. There is an element of truth, but is it 100 percent true? Because how many of you watch Friday? Right? Um, now, this isn't exactly a euphemism as much as, as it is a lying. Well, Smokey is trying to get the, like, he, he has this girl, and the girl says she looks like Janet Jackson. My. <laughs> right? And, like, he shows up to the house, and mind you, she's a beautiful girl. Yes. And she has the, she has, she has the look. Like, I remember Janet Jackson in Poetic Justice with the locks or whatever. Yes, she has yes. Locks in her hand. She, has, she has the look, but she's heavy. She's bigger than Janet, but she's pretty. And yeah. Smokey was like, no, she don't look like no Janet Jackson. Look more like Freddie Jackson, right? <laughs> I think he was a little mean. But maybe she was kind of misleading him and being a little euphemistic by comparing yes. herself to Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. All right, maybe that was a bit much. She was a pretty girl. But yeah, okay. So it happens. It happens a lot. It happens a lot. All right, and it can be misleading. And so that's propaganda. Don't sell anybody dreams. Be honest. Be upfront with who you are. That's fine. And yeah. if, if people don't like it, that's their problem. Keep that's it moving. Fine. Keep it moving. All right. Correctional facility instead of prison. We talked about this yesterday. All right. What else? Any other euphemisms? Like names for things that make certain things that are not so good sound good. Or things that are negative, try to make them sound a bit better. Wellness center. Wellness center is for, that's like for the, for the, is that the mental hospital? Mrs. Dennis? What? Wellness, wellness center. center? Or they are like just a regular hospital. Because that's a good one. Wellness center is very good. Yes. I don't know. Or oh, the gym. Oh, okay. see, that's or the gym. gym. Oh, yeah, that is the gym. Yeah, yes. exactly. Wellness center, right? But you just going into a funky gym. We know, we know <laughs> what's up. With all rusty weights. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Detention center, exactly. Yeah. It's awful. The detention center is just as bad as Fox Hill Prison. Yes. As a matter of fact, Mrs. Dennis, did you hear the story of that... Um. I think it's an African fellow. $600,000. $640,000 because he was illegally detained and beaten for seven years. Seven years. Awful. I couldn't Awful. believe it. Awful. They should have given him 10 times that. I was like, whoa. I couldn't disgraceful, believe it. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. Okay. Now, guys, we all know the bandwagon, so we're not going to spend a lot of time here. All right? Okay. Um... We're gonna skip right past that. And another another bandwagon party, right? Um, another bandwagon, sorry, not party, another bandwagon example. Um, bro, you gotta come to the where do young people go, Mrs. Dennis? Where kids, young people, where do you go to socialize? Yeah, where do you go to socialize before COVID-19? First, what was the name of it? Um, uh not sure. I can't remember the name of the place. There was this place that I would hear my students talking about all the time at Doris Johnson. Ooh. Kate City. Kate City. Oh. No man, it's another place. Um, the place that served. Um, it's a place I don't think they should have been. Not IMAX. Um. What? Well, I. I don't know. I think it started with T or something. Say escape. What no, not escape? escape. Jesus. Tailgaters, that's it, Franklin. Thank you. All right. I'm not a bar or something. Right. Yes, that's it. So they would always be talking about tailgaters, right? And it's like, oh, man, that's, you know, that's like your friend you're going tailgaters. You have to come, bro. If you don't come, you if you miss it, you diss it, bro. Bandwagon. 
because they're trying to get everybody on board. Yeah. Okay. If you have to come because everyone else is going to be there, man, you have to come. Like, don't <laughs> think for yourself, dude. Just come because everyone else is going there, man. Let's just do it. Come on. Oh, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. So testimonial. Man, this is a big one. I get sick of it. Like, for example, Travis Scott was in a PS5. Why is Travis Scott in a PS5 commercial? Who cares? I don't care. I, exactly. I don't care, right? But they, they're using him because why are they using Travis Scott? They gave him a PS5, and I mean, that already had me in my feelings, right? Because I'm like, this dude already is a multimillionaire. But, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, I mean, he could have bought his own PS5 and games. Right? And stuff. He could buy a couple of people there. I'm telling you, he could buy my Dennis. He'd get, he could, he would get your, your, des your deserving S O one, for sure, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So, um, wait. At least you're saying that was Fortnite, but didn't Travis didn't Travis Scott also get a PS Five? Yeah, he did a whole commercial. Oh, he had a Fortnite event? Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I, I don't play... I don't, I don't mess with Fortnite. All right. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Um, the problem with um, testimonials, like, unless it's someone who is an expert or someone who's used it and, like, they're not, they're not a paid spokesperson, right? For example, how many times have you watched a commercial... And these are actors. These are not real customers. These are actors. Okay? Or they have to specify this is a non-paid spokesperson. They have to because if the is just an actor, at the product that they are promoting, like how, how am I supposed to believe what they're saying? They're just acting. Right? So um, when someone is not qualified and they recommend a product, okay, and they lack the qualifications, that's problematic. That's propaganda, people. Yeah. Is that really the truth? Is that really the truth? Does this product really work? What do you know about this product that I don't know? You're just some celebrity. You have a lot of money, but that doesn't mean you know any more than I do. That's All right? Cool. All right, we looked at the... Anyone remember the example I used at the beginning of class? Um, with, with that very same thing, with a celebrity promoting a product or endorsing a product? Yes. So I think they said the one with the kid. No, with KD. They mean Kevin Durant. Oh, okay, my yeah. Good old KD, right? Good old KD because he has. We know he. We know he was um building um headphones when he was like six years old. Like from then, he was experimenting with sound and like he he. I mean, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. Completely untrue. My point was, I was being sarcastic, like, he had, oh, he had a problem with Kevin Durant. He's not an expert in sound. No. Right? I would take, I would take his, I would buy headphones that a sound engineer recommends. Yeah. I would buy headphones that a music producer recommends before mm -hmm. I buy a pair that Kevin Durant recommends. If I, if I'm concerned about, like, the, the quality of, of the sound. Yeah. Right. So yeah, you just, just using a mean the product is all that, or that doesn't even mean the celebrity, the celebrity believes in the product. A lot of these yeah. things that celebrities promote, they don't even use. No. They don't use them. That's they, the endorsements, and they, they make and change. That's just money. All mm -hmm. right. So pro, more propaganda. Use this because it's what Beyonce uses. Where right? because it's what K Katie wears them. Play this because this is what Travis Scott plays. Right, not making not a very good argument, just emotional, just appealing to your emotions. At the time, yeah, very little facts, very little people. logic in the mix, not good. Okay, all right, we um talked about appeal to fair, 
Okay, I don't think we got. To, yeah, we looked at it. Now, this is where people say bad things will happen if you don't do this, for example. All right. If you don't pay your if you don't pay this light bill one time, you'll be living on the street. What? <laughs> if you don't take if you don't take your girlfriend to this very expensive restaurant, you'll be single for the rest of your life. What? Okay. So yeah, appealing to fair. I'm afraid of being alone. I'm afraid of being on the street. I'm afraid of dying. I'm afraid of um being a jobless loser. Okay, so let me make sure I do this thing or the next thing. So, um, oh, yes, Tyrone. Yes, those stupid chain before WhatsApp, it was email. Remember that, Mrs. Dennis? Yes, they would send these chain, chain if links. You, if you break oh. this, and even before email, and people used to send them in regular mail. Yes, people used to sit down, type these things up, and send them around. Believe, believe it or not, on paper, right? Yes, just like that. Like, if you don't send this to 10 people, you will die. A bad luck for seven years. Okay. Well, I, I'm wondering if I, I'm wondering if a couple of them wasn't true because I feel like I haven't bad luck right now. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, post this or you go into hell. Like, it's so stupid. I right? Swear. Okay, so an appeal to fail. All right. That a certain disaster or tragedy will occur if a certain action is not taken. Sometimes the warning may be legitimate. Now, people, I don't want you to be confused. Sometimes an appeal to fear is logical because there are people doing stupid things they shouldn't be doing. So sometimes you have to scare them straight. Yeah. But a lot of times it may not be the most logical course of action. All right. It may be people over over hyping a particular problem to scare you into like um, not doing this thing or avoiding this problem when the problem is not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sometimes the warning may be legitimate, but if the warning lacks proof, it can be propaganda. Okay? So here we go. Examples. We looked at this with the child. Hit me at 40 miles per hour, there's a 70% chance I'll die. And there's approximate figures there. Hit at 30 miles per hour, there's an 80% chance I live. That's why it's the speed limit is 30. Okay? But guess what? But guess what? Watch this, right? You could still die if a car hits you at 30 miles per hour. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> right? Okay? But yes, there, there's a compelling case being made here. I don't know how how uh, how factual, factual it is because they have a picture. What do they have in here to tug at you emotionally? What do they have here to tug at you emotionally? A car is metal. Metal is metal. Hit is hit. True. What, but what is here trying to tug at your heartstrings, at your, at your emotions, at your sense of, of fear in the first one? In the first photo about the um, speed limit. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Yes, those students, come on, emotion, emotion, come on. Um, um, they're saying, Cameron, say, can you repeat it again? No, I was, um, Cameron, I was asking in the first photo about the speed limit, what in that photo appeals to your sense of fear or your, se or your emotions in the first one, in the first um, ad? Yes, the skull. Okay, because nobody wants to, nobody wants to be in a position where they hit a child. I can tell you that. All right. You can imagine you driving and you hit a child. Boy, wow. Those people will most likely yuck you out of that car and beat you to death. All right. But yeah, um, that's the sense of fear. Like, be careful. Obey the, the word limit, speed limit, sorry. 
and there's a greater chance that I will live. And the same thing here with this lady with the hole in her neck. Jeez. Um, just terrible. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, it's your turn. Okay. So can we get can we get some boys versus girl action going? Yes. All right. Boys versus girls. I need representatives for the boys, representatives for the girls. I am going to, you know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to just unmute some mics. All right. Uh, Alicia, you mind if, and Deborah, you mind if I unmute your mic so you could represent the girls? You guys mind? Awesome. Awesome. I love this. Are you guys in? I think Deborah, those will do it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. All right, Deborah says sure. Well, I know okay. she's boys. Sure. I need, I need boys though. I need boys. Franklin. Franklin like he like to chat. Franklin, what's going on? We need another boy. All right, Franklin says yes. Um, he said I have to log back on. He's saying he have to log back in. I okay. Think um, I think someone else said yeah. I think Camuel said yes. All he right. Was it Alicia or Leah? Who? Who's that? Yeah. I think I can tell you right now who that was. Okay, Alicia said yes. Okay. Franklin said be right I'm, back. I think he's sure. going out to come back in. Okay. Um. Let me see. Camuel say he'll do it, and Cameron say sure he'll do it as well. All right. You said Camuel, Camuel, and and who? Well, Franklin say yeah. Franklin say he's back, so I guess okay. he'll do it. All right. Oh, Cameron is a girl. Sorry, Cameron, darling heart. All right. You all right? So I got Franklin and um, Camuel. Okay. All right, so guys, you will be able to unmute yourselves now. <clears throat> so what we need you to do is, um, boys, you're working. Um, I don't know if you guys, Mrs. Dennis, did they do the did they do the chat, the room, the the chat here? Not in this one, right? Yeah, in grade twelve, the girls did the chat. Now the boys, I don't know if they created their chat as yet, but the girls definitely have their chat. All right, well, you know how this thing goes. Very simple. All right, um, and this is a matter of speed, okay, because these are like um, paragraphs you read and then you have to submit your answer to your representative and they will say it. They will say it out loud, mm -hmm. okay? So you have, to, you have to work. You're working in groups, so boys, no, don't put anything in the chat. You should, unless you have a boys group chat, all right, don't put it in the main chat. What no. you could do instead of that is you can PM, you can PM Franklin, or can uh, you privately yeah. with your yeah. answers, okay? All right, because there may be, some of you may have different answers, I don't know. And girls, you know, same thing, you already have your group chat, so you guys are good. All right, you know who your representatives are, so send them. So our representatives, as a reminder, Franklin and Camuel, and Deborah and Aaliyah for the girls, Franklin and Camuel for the boys. All right, so let's, uh, get, let's get it started. Sean to A, one of the girls. Can you add Nikki and Knowles to the chat, please? Thank you, Nelda. Okay, let's go. All right, so whoever comes out with it quickest, all right? We're talking about the quickest answer. Whoever unmutes themselves quickest will win. All right, let's go. First one, let's go. Let's go. Remember, so you have to, the representative has to come on there, has to use their um, audio. That's right. Cut on your mic. And so. All right. Who is that? That's. Um... Angel, no, yeah, Mike isn't on Angel, not you. So, several people are saying they can't see anything. Yeah, that's what Gracious is saying the same thing. Mr. Walken, hello, hello, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. <laughs> okay, the girls have you know answered. We are ready. Okay, let's hear it. Um, we went. 
All right. And is that correct? Is that correct? Boom! All right, so the girls are on the board with one point. All right. All right, so girls in the lead. All right, so let's go. Well, I, I thought that was I thought that was a, um, an administrator or something. <laughs> Listen right. to me, you know Daryl. All right, Darryl How about this one, guys? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, boys, boys. You have to redeem yourselves, man. Let's go. Come on. Uh, it's a euphemism. Boom! All right, all right. Let's see. Let's. I already gave it away because I said boom, but yes. <laughs> all right, yes, guys. It is a euphemism. That poor, poor woman. She has no idea what's in store for her. All right. Okay. Um, hold on, guys. I'm just trying to get the link. Um, the link together for you guys. Just give me one man, minute. Not that you are fired, man. Come on, man. She thinking now. Uh, she having tea and crumpets. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's straight up like he's twisting around the fox, man. That's why propaganda is a problem. You can't believe Nobody's saying good news, my dear. I'm going to be spending a lot more time with you. I like, mean, oh, you that's true. And got that woman excited for nothing. I more. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, so anyway, He's boy, wrong. Yeah, he got his wrong. pink slip. All right. Okay, guys. So I'm just putting the link in now. Sorry about that. All right. So there we go. Next one. So we are one for one. Yes. I like it. I like a competitive game. Okay? All right, next one. Oh, man. Oh. Ooh. That's oh, gross, man. right? Oh. This is Dennis is gross, right? Gross as well as hurtful. Like, just looking at the picture. Oh, oh man. <sighs> Nobody dance yet. Some injuries never heal. Oh my poor child. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but it says it's some injuries hard. never heal. Children who witness domestic violence are more likely to become victims or abusers as adults. Join yes. us at the terrible cycle. Learn more or donate at ding 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 ding. Lord of World's emotional. Okay, so Dara and the boys are talking the same time as well. Yeah, I heard, yeah, I heard ding ding ding. Emotional appeal, I heard that. And ladies, what do you have to say? Yeah. Fair? Appeal to fair. Appeal to fair. Let's see. What is it? Oh! Oh, girls! Fair. All right. <laughs> now, guys, to be fair to the boys, it, was an, it is an emotional appeal. It's just it's specifically to fair. Yes. Okay? Wow. That was let's actually... Go, girls. I love let's this. Go. I love this. I love this. All right. Let's go. Another one. Oh boy, everyone's favorite president. Right? <laughs> hey. Oh, you can tell someone they don't have the right temperament. Don't cost me parcel, chip. Sure. Camuel. All right, what did Camuel say? Um, propaganda. What? Say propaganda. propaganda. Girls, you have answer. Well, the boys already, the boys already answered. That's right. Ten seconds, girls. Ten. Seven. 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 Five. Five. Four. We can't see anything on our end, so. Oh, Mr. Joaquin, you want me to read it? Yeah, read it. Read it. Okay. Name, name caller. Ted Cruz does not have, so this is Donald Trump on his Twitter, Twitter finger. Ted Cruz does not have the right temperament to be president. Look at the way he totally panicked in firing his director of communication. Bad. Name calling. All right. Well, I gotta say, the boys have answered already. Yeah, so boys can't see. take your answer back. Personal attack, name calling. Yes. <laughs> All right, so the boys are leading now. All right, girls. Let's see. I hope you guys can see this one, ladies. Okay. Deborah, can you see this one? See this one. 
I can see this one. I can see. Okay. She trying to get the answer. <laughs> Emotional appeal. Wow. Appeal to fair. Okay. Well, I heard him open the field first and the field the fair second. Let's see what's let's see what's here. Emotional appeal. Wow. Oh, <laughs> what is going on today? What is happening? Come on, Deborah. It must you be the should, you, girls, you should know it's he's. I mean, come on, this emotional. I mean, when when these commercials come on, that's what it appeals to. I ain't trying to sabotage no one. What is it? <laughs> Me? Me? I ain't trying to stop. I ain't trying to sabotage nobody. What is it? No man, it ain't like that. It ain't like that. Okay, I understand, Ashley. Um, all right. Okay, okay. So none, none of the girls can see. Wow, that they lying. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know. Some, some of the girls should be able to see. All right. Thank. I agree. I okay. Agree. All right, so uh, let's try this one. Okay, we're on the last one, girls. Let's see if you can pull this through. Deborah, can you guys see now? Fine, why you I did it. Okay. Deborah, y'all didn't have your answer yet? All right, I heard boys, the boys said bond wagon. Yeah. We still can't see. Oh Lord. Oh my. Any of the girls could see besides you, Deborah? Ashley is saying it's loading. I would screenshot it. Mrs. Dennis, you on your phone? All right, thank you, Leah. I ain't got no phone. Whoa, all right. Lenardo put it in the chat. La ladies, look, look, look. Ladies, ladies look, at herb, it. look at it. And Hurry up. Answer. Yes. The boy already gave the answer. Deborah, do you see it? Can you give your answer? I could even hear the song in my head right now. I ain't like. Just by looking at this picture. Hey, Miss Walking. Um, you in music, right? Buying music? Yeah. Where are you? No, I'm I'm in my class. Oh, okay. In the okay. resource room. In the resource room. Sorry, resource room. Okay. All right. Did someone get it? What um, did the ladies get? didn't say anything. Come on, girls. Okay. Well. Uh. We are gonna go with Van Wagen. Mr. Walking, they said Van Wagen. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Yeah, you can go for lunch. Boom. Cele testimonial, celebrity. Testimonial, celebrity. celebrity. Uh, all right, guys. Good huh. job, little Deborah. Good okay, job, we, little guys. We, we have to give it to the boys today. Yeah, you know, I got to give it, it to the boys. I wasn't, boys trying, I wasn't pulling for the boys. I wasn't pulling for the boys to win. I, I I am a fair I am a fair equal opportunity kind of person, right? <laughs> I was just, I was just glad the boys.